just how good is Luka Doncic? Luka Doncic is the best 20-year-old player in the history of the NBA. Now, listen to what I'm saying very carefully. I am not saying he is the greatest. Magic Johnson, at the age of 20, jumped at center and gave the Sixers, and game six of the finals when Kareem got hurt as a rookie point guard, jumped at center and gave the Sixers, he was playing for the Lakers, obviously, 42, 15, and 7 in a win. That moment of greatness, we don't know if Luka has that in him, in that leverage moment. So I'm not saying the greatest. LeBron, I'm not saying the guy with the most upside. LeBron James, when he was 20, was almost this good. But you could see athletically, in terms of his size, speed, everything, he had greater upside. I'm not talking about what they might become. I'm talking about at the age of 20, who has the best game, who is the best ever in the NBA, it is Luka Doncic. He is, he's almost giving you a 30-point triple-double for a winning team. They're winning a lot in the Western Conference. In the Western Conference for a team that's winning like twice as much as they're losing. He's, he's almost giving you a triple-double with 30 points. He's 20 years old. Now, look, he's not a great shooter yet, but he ain't scared to shoot. And he can shoot it well enough, better than Magic, for example, at the same age, or LeBron from outside at the same age. Luka Doncic, what you're seeing right now, you must understand, this is better than we've ever seen a player play at that age, ever. I completely I agree. Uh, I, I, um, go, go ahead, go ahead, Stephen. Excuse me. No, no, I don't feel that way. I, I feel, and here's the reason why, guys. Um, Max Kellerman, you have to play defense too. Now I'm in Dallas. I'm going to this Mavs game tonight. I am a fan well, of Luka mind. Doncic, and 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 the reality of the situation is, and I'm going to say this as well. Even though he's European, you know what I'm saying? Being of a white complexion being able to speak the English language as well as he already speaks it, combined with the game he has, this might be the biggest star, the biggest star in the NBA in the very near future, or at the very least, at the very least, as big of a star as Larry Bird. Well, he has that kind of potential. This brother is special. I love his game. I love his bravado, his swag. I love it all. But the brother don't play defense. He don't play defense. Like, 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 I, I don't want to hear that, okay? That's number one. Number two, the level of competition that you're going against, uh, and, I'm, and, and by that I'm not talking necessarily talent, RJ. I'm talking about rules and regulations as well. The league is considerably softer in this day and age compared to what it was when LeBron James was 20 years old. All right? Uh, obviously, Kobe. Obviously, MJ. Now, MJ came into the league. He was 21, not 20, averaging 28 a game, and we get all of that. But when you consider how much softer the NBA game is called, how you could basically get called for a foul for having bad breath, for crying out loud, I think those are the kind of things that you have to take into consideration as well. Luca's handle, his passing ability, his shooting ability, his size, inside out. No debate offensively. Defensively is probably a matter of effort because he has to do so much offensively that he obviously saves himself on the defensive side of the ball, one could argue. I'll let Rick Carlisle educate me about that because he raves about this kid and said, you know what, essentially I got smart as a coach and instead of sitting up there and having him off the ball, I put him at the point guard midway through last season and everything has changed ever since. But in the end, I just look at LeBron and I look at the way the game was played, how tough it was, and I'm going to give LeBron the edge over Luka at age 20. My thing with this is the number one thing, all the European players I've ever talked talk to, played with, played against, I remember talking to Tiago Splitter. Tiago Splitter, I was like, hey, what's the biggest difference when he first came over here because he was a much heralded European player? He goes, on this level, point guards can block your shot. He's like, you didn't see that in Europe. One of the things that they talked about here is the physicality that goes into playing in the NBA, where the physicality has been completely erased in the last 5, 10, 15 years. It has literally decreased, and I, I, I'm curious to see where it's going to be in the next 10 years because this is it, it's amazing to me at this point. But I will say this offensively, yes. We have never seen a 20-year-old put up numbers like this because normally it takes a person, and again, where he's got the advantage, he's been playing against grown men since he was 16. Mm -hmm. So even then, the physicality for him, he's more accustomed to that. European basketball is more physical than the NBA is right now at this point in time. Where I think he is special 
and where I said it yesterday. If you had to give me one player for this next decade, I'm taking Luca over Giannis. Oh. And that's a, and I stand wow. by that. Because oh, 10, years, 10 years, he'll be 35 versus 30. 30, yeah. 30, exactly. I don't know, and, I still might take Giannis. And on, top, but, and on top of it, there is nothing offensively that he has to improve of at all. There's nothing that he, offensively that he has to improve of in his game offensively. It's perfect. He just needs to become a better team defender. Well, you don't wanna, have to be I'm, a great let individual. Ask, let me answer those. I'm Can like, I, Max, Max, before you go, before yeah. you go, Max, let me say the last one. Because, listen, I, I listen. You make a legitimate argument about Luka Doncic. Nobody can deny how special the guy is. I know I marvel at what I've seen from him. But what I'm going to say to you, Max, if we're going to ignore him on the defensive end to you and RJ, then you know what we need to do? We mm. need to step back and give James Harden more love. Because okay, I recall well, okay, many people out. holding James Harden on the I'm defensive gonna, side going... of the ball against him. Harden's actually a and better defensive than getting credit for in recent we years. We know what he could do offensively. Look, look, Harden, I, I'm not even on Harden for his defense. I'm on Harden for his postseason play and the biggest moments. But let me let me get that. That's why I said you can't call Luka the greatest yet because Magic did it in, when it mattered most as a 20-year-old. But the best, let me. I'm going to answer your two claims against Luka, Stephen A., why you don't put him number one. One, um, and I think this is legitimate, the defense, right? That's right. I've, I've watched him. He's an awful defender. I, he, doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't play defense. But his team is 23 and 13. You know, like, and so, so this leads to the next point where you say that it was more physical then. Nowadays, you get called for having bad breath. Then I would suggest you don't have bad breath. In other words, players who succeed in a given era are, have, are, are adapted, have the right features to succeed in that era. So, that, so what, for whatever the reason, by hook or by crook, Luke was putting up the best numbers ever, more efficiently than anyone for this usage okay. ever, on a team that's 10 games above 500. You add it all up. This is the best we've ever seen at age 20. Yep, and I also want to mention Richard's take one more time. Luca over Giannis. Luca over Giannis, Giannis for the next 10 years, okay, for this sir. decade. Can... Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.